Visit Quad Cities is celebrating the growth of tourism in our area at its annual Destination QC event tonight. The group touted highlights from the past year. Now Harrison Belsanti tells us what the organization is looking forward to. Whether it's from sports, conventions, or casinos, tourism is a driving factor for the success of the Quad Cities. President and CEO of Visit Quad Cities, Dave Harrell, says tourism brings in an average of $1.3 billion annually to the Quad Cities area and 6.7 million visitors. Seeing tax generation up year over year, seeing increases in jobs that are directly supported by the travel and tourism industry are really positive trends. It's a big industry. Visit QC says the direct economic impact this year from group business alone was more than $30 million. That means good things for local businesses. As leaders of the private nonprofits say, over 9,000 jobs were supported by tourism in our area this year. Visit Quad Cities and other groups have also been working together to make the region a more inclusive community, with accessibility tourism being a key focus. Highlights of the past year include the 50th anniversary of Ragabri, the addition of nearly 5,000 visitors to the region from National River Cruises alone, and the continued work on the John Deere Trail, which is set to launch next year. But among the biggest drivers of tourism is sports, which Harrell says makes up 56% of the organization's group business, driven by events like the John Deere Classic. It's good for business, but it's also good for like igniting resident pride. It's good for national visibility. And so we're going to continue to double down and do whatever we can in that space. And Harrell says there's more to come, announcing the addition of the NCAA Division I Women's Golf Regional at TPC Deer Run in 2028 and bringing in the 2027 Small Market Meetings Conference, which he calls a big win. It's all part of the effort from the Visit QC to make the Quad Cities a must-experience riverfront destination. But there's so many things behind the numbers in terms of what we do for the region and sharing our story and trying to figure out a way that we can position ourselves globally. In Bettendorf, Harrison Belsanti, WQAD News 8. And you can check out all the latest programs and ways to get involved with local tourism efforts by visiting our website, wqad.com.